Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander Tactical. Now today we are going to be looking at some illumination or a tactical light that you can use. So I think if you're after a high quality light that's very versatile that can be used in a lot of different situations, I think the Army Tech Doberman and the accessories that you can get with this to complement how this can be used might just be the light for you and hopefully that's what I'll be able to show you today. Now, I will say, so here on Moreland Tactical, I also have a sister channel called Moreland EDC. I've had this light now for probably about a year and I've been using it for lots of other things. Um, but there is a full review so that you can see exactly how this works and I'll go into a little bit more in depth on that channel. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna have a look at it today and a, and a quick overview. So. As far as size wise, it comes in around that kind of normal size that you get for a tactical light like this. It fits perfectly in your hand, it's not too heavy. Construction wise, Army Tech, they, they just don't settle for meh. Army Tech really want to take it to the next level. It's made from aerospace um, aluminium, it's the 6061T6 aluminium tail switch on the end has been tested to make sure that it's as durable as possible as well uh, and you also have um, a strengthened striker on the end again as if, if you should need to use that. The tail cap unscrews and on the inside here we have currently the world's most used battery which is the 18650 battery it's not a proprietary one like some other manufacturers use so if you have plenty of these which i'm guessing some of you probably do have do have some of those um, then it will just work perfectly inside here as far as charging is concerned it has one of these proprietary magnetic chargers that just clips onto the end which again when we'll have a look at this how this connects to a rifle you'll be able to see just how useful that it, this is and all of these are included when uh, when when you get this from uh, from army tech now as far as the modes are concerned on here so strictly speaking it has two modes or kind of two separate sections of modes there is the tactical setting and then there is a hunting setting and the way that you get between each of the settings is whilst the light is on the head unit here you twist it and then twist it back i think it's just like an eighth of a turn and you'll be able to see that it cycles through the different brightnesses the way that I have this at the moment, this is on the tactical setting, but should you want to turn it to its hunting setting, you loosen it and then tighten it again 10 times and the light will flash ever so, well actually it is pretty quickly, you can, you can, uh, you can miss it if you don't notice. Uh, but the difference is with the hunting setting that it doesn't have the strobe mode, whereas this does have the strobe mode. So to stay on the strobe mode, so at the moment we're on high, you just have to unturn it so it's an eighth of a turn and it will put it onto, uh, onto its strobe mode and then you can turn it back. So there's no buttons. Once it's on, it's all done with the turn of the, of, of the barrel or the head unit here. It's very simple to be able to do this. Now, the way that this kind of really makes it even better is if this is attached to a rifle rather than you having to try and find a button which is often it's, it's always on the wrong side um, some of them you specifically have to take the tail cap off again so that you can then mess around with the different settings it's all done through a twisting of this head uh, just an eighth of a turn and back again as long as you do it within like a second or so um, like so here we're on we're on high twist it there you go eighth of a turn there we're on low uh, so we're on strobe if you want to put it on to um, onto strobe mode so there we are and then you can do it again and now we're on the low strobe mode you can get up to 1500 lumens on its highest setting which is great especially for doing room clearings um, the strobe mode is very good at disorientating you when it's when it when it's in your eyes um, you also get the strobe on the low mode or, or even just you, you get the low mode which is great for being able to just try and find where you are if you're walking around a building um, and well you know you just you want to be you want to see but hopefully not to be seen uh, so in the low mode it will drop that down to 40 lumens great also again if you're doing any training and you don't want to blind you know your colleagues that you're working with also if this has been used for airsoft 
it's a little bit nicer to be able to go into a room yes okay you want the full 1500 lumens but out of respect for the other players it's it's great to have it on its low mode instead one of the additional things that you get with this is a is a rubber tactical ring. You can keep this on. You can take it off. Uh, to you, you unscrew the end, and it, it will just pull off. The advantage with it on there, if it is that you're doing something with uh, with with a side arm, is that you can you can hold it in any position and be able to do whatever it is that you need to do, uh, and then just be able to click on the end so that you can you can shine uh, you can shine a light wherever it is that you want it to go. With the tactical ring, you can pass it through your fingers, then be able to get a good grip on your side arm and still be able to uh, to do room sweeps and, and so on. Wow, from that angle, the, uh, the suppressor on this looks huge. It really isn't that long. If I hold it here, I think that's just... Whoa! Anyway, sorry, where was I? Uh, so yeah, it's great to be able to get a full grip on there if needs be. Or, as I mentioned, you can get your uh, just your pinky and your ring finger on there. Um, also super grippy when you're wearing gloves. So I, I don't think this is actually coated, but it feels as though it's bead blasted. So it's it's got almost a matte finish, which is really good when this is wet. If it is that it's wet or you've got sweaty hands or sweaty gloves, um, it really does help with your grip on this, which is, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a huge advantage. Now I mentioned previously this is an incredibly versatile light so whether you're using it with a side arm like we just looked at this can also be weapon mounted as well to a rifle and as you'd expect um, there are lots of different solutions whether you're running M-Lock, whether you're running key mods, whether you're running Pictini or if you have an old school rifle that doesn't have any of that and you are wanting to do some hunting quickly just have a look here so this is one of their magnetic mounts you can push that straight onto there um, and then it will magnetize onto anything that well clearly has to be steel or iron um, but I think with the vast majority of barrels being like that unfortunately you know if, if you do have a carbon fiber barrel it's probably not going to well it won't stick to that but having this slung under something so that when you're hunting certainly makes it a good addition now just to show um, how versatile this can be rather than using one of their mounts um, the, the thickness of this here is roughly an inch which is pretty much the industry standard for a lot of these style mounts so I'll put this on to my Scorpion in a second you'll be able to see that it works on there perfectly. The best thing that I like about this and this is the huge thing for me comes down to the remote switch. So a lot of other lights that are out there if I just grab, where did I put it? I put it in this pocket of course I did. Uh, so here is one of the uh, competitors, so this is from Phoenix, very similar in the fact that you have a momentarily, momentary on and then you also have a full on depending on what mode that it's in. Um, with the Phoenix version you have to unscrew the tail cap from the other light um, and then you have to screw this one onto it which is, I mean it's not a pain but it's just, it, it is just a bit of a faff, whereas Army Tech it's just so much easier because the whole um, rear end of this tail cap is magnetic. You still get exactly, so you've got your momentary on, you've got your full on, and when this is attached to your rifle, if I put this on to full on, rather than having to take the end off or rather than having to find another button to be able to change different modes, again, you've just got that eighth of a turn and now we're in uh, now we're in strobe mode. Or if I am in high, eighth of a turn and back again, now we're in now we're in the low mode. So much easier being able to do this. If you did need to take your light off for any reason, you know, it's exactly the same process. But just the ability to be able to undo that you can then charge it with the uh, with the magnetic charger once you're done you're on you're ready to go none of this having to re-screw or put the other tail cap back on to change different settings so much easier now let's have a look what this looks like when it's actually on my rifle now fitting the light to the rifle is very simple the one thing you need to make sure that you do is remove the tactical ring from it that's just so that it will pass through the opening to the mount and again just to show that this is compatible so if you do have a favorite mount rather than having to uh, 
purchase an additional one from Armitech. This will fit anything. Um, I'm not going to, although you can see on there, this is one from Phoenix. Uh, but again, this is just for illustration purposes to show that it will fit on there. Once it's on, nice and snug, tighten it down and it's on there. What I've also done is I've attached the uh, remote switch here. I will say that the uh, that the uh, the wire for the remote switch is pretty long with this, so you might have to do a little bit of cable management. But what I find is sling it round the bottom, take it through the top, uh, and then it will attach there on the back. So straight away, you have instant. Let's flip on the sides. You have instant access to your light. You have your momentary on. Uh, so momentary on is forward and then constant on is the button at the back So again momentary on You can do whatever you need to do you're in you're sweeping rooms You're taking the shots and then you're turning it off again, and it works incredibly well now as I say so with some other lights if you then wanted to change the mode on this if you wanted to um, put it so that it's in strobe mode or if you wanted to ch change the intensity at the moment it's on 1500 lumens but if I wanted to drop that down to the lower mode some of them you'd have to take the tail switch off you have to try and find the buttons sods law your buttons on the back because you've not remembered to put it around there with this it's so much easier so I can put this on so that we are now on the constant mode I just do an eighth of a turn turn it back again and we're now on the high mode or if I wanted it so that it is now on the strobe mode I can just do an eighth of a turn you see oh sorry no it just turned while it was in there I hadn't got it on fast enough on, on tight enough so I can loosen it there we go I can loosen it so that we're now on turn off the constant and I've got instant, instant access to that there as well now I will say it was moving then and that's only because when I put this on there I just hadn't put it tight enough um, it's just for illustrative purposes um, I don't usually run it on this gun but I thought with it looking with black on black that it looked pretty freaking sexy uh, but again if you want to turn that back now so that we are on constant you just turn it back so that it is closed or it is locked tightly and then we're on we're back on constant it's a very nice solution and the fact that they've been able to add the tail switch with a magnet in there and still have all of the functions that it has as part of that I think it's a great solution that is versatile that will work with so many different things um, and really does show why companies like Army Tech are at the top of their game when it comes to these stuff tactical lights now as I mentioned, so I do have another channel which is more under EDC where I've done a lot more of an in-depth review on the light itself going into the different settings, going um, actually out in the dark so that you can see how well it performs as far as lights is concerned, it's considered to be a bit of a thrower. It can throw uh, throw light um, in excess of, of, of 300 meters. Uh, the candela on this is very high, um, especially which is which is good again for um, being able to startle people when 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 you're when you're pointing this in their direction. Um, the candela on this focuses all of those 1500 lumens on a smaller spot. Um, which really does intensify the amount of light that comes into your eyes. Uh, but yes, so there is there is a lot more information on Moreland EDC. Of course, I will leave a link here, whichever side that the link goes. I'd like to also thank uh, Army Tech for sending these my way and the continued support of the channel. Um, yeah, you guys are awesome. I certainly enjoy working with you guys. I've also been sent the Predator. So this is the Doberman. Um, I also have the Predator, which I'm currently testing. So that will be out soon as well. So yeah, I'll leave all of Armitech's links below. That was the dog. He just fell over while he was trying to climb on the wall. Dogs don't work with children's and an children and animals. But yes, I will leave all of Armitech's links below. I'll also leave some of my social media links for here on Moorlander Tactical and Moorlander EDC. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay tactical. It's not that cold today, but I just needed the... Oh.
Velcro in my pocket. Yeah. Okay, let's put that in this pocket. Plane flying over, of course. Randy gets the camera out. Every man and his dog decides to make some noise. Did that bit at the end with the gun kind of look cool when I stay, stay tactical? I, I hope it did. It probably looked really cheesy, but... I really do like this light, very impressed. It's so much easier to be able to sort stuff like this than a lot of other manufacturers. I think other manufacturers should be looking at this and I mean, I don't want them to copy it because it's great that Army Tech are doing this. Oh, such a good gun, I love this gun. Let me, let me grab my what's it, well. I did love that angle, how that changed. Look at that, it looks like I've got a... That's crazy. Anyway, where was I? Hope you're all having a good Friday, by the way. This Friday's go. So yeah, um, I'll see you in a bit. Stay tactical. Love you.